بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان شاء اللہ ول بی ایچ سروس ڈیورنگ دس سیریز آن اسلامک ایتھکس اینڈ ول بگن ود دی سائن آف اے گڈ مسلم ڈسکرائب بائی دا کمانڈر آف دا فیتھ فل علی نبی طالب علیہ السلام وے ہی سیز دیٹ مسلم اینڈ اے متقی اینڈ اے پائس پرسن شوڈ بی ہمبل دے شوڈ ہیو ہیومیلیٹی اینڈ شوڈ ناٹ ہیو اینی ایروگنس ایروگنس از اے سائن آف ڈس بلیف اینڈ پیپل ہو آر ایروگنٹ آر ناٹ اسٹرانگ بلیورس اینڈ دے ول سلولی ڈرفٹ اوے فرام ریلیجن سو ایروگنس از اے ویری ایول سائن دیٹ میڈ دا سیٹن بی کرس بائی گاڈ Humility is a sign that people respect and our Prophet, who was the best of the Prophets, was extremely humble. He would prostrate before the Almighty and um, always tell his companions not to ever be arrogant and have pride. And it is extremely important that we Uh, always contain ourselves and never humiliate others. Before we tell you how to be uh, humble with your friends, we will say what it does. <clears throat> and many times people, when they believe that they are better or superior to other people, then they are disrespectful to, to them and they are arrogant with them. When we believe that we are better, we may believe we are better for a number of reasons. We may believe that we're better because of our race, our color, um, our knowledge, our wealth, um, and our beauty, our uh, dress, for many reasons. And for all of those reasons, one must not uh, feel that they are better than others because that will destroy our uh, uh, services, our ibadat. Everything will be destroyed if you feel that you are better than others. Uh, Satan... lost everything. Imam Ali says six thousand years of ibadat he lost because he felt that he was better than uh, Adam, Adam alayhi salam. So we must be humble. Uh, humility brings respect. The tree, Saadi Shirazi says that uh, the tree that has fruit is always uh, bowing down. So if you have knowledge and if you have uh, faith and if you have If you are full of virtues, then you will always be humble. You will not be arrogant and uh, um, uh, always proud of yourself that I am better than the others. It is important that one uh, tries to contain themselves if they are arrogant. And there are ways of controlling one's um, uh, arrogance. Number one. one should always allow the others to talk before them and not say, I'm talking and I'm speaking, so allow me to speak first, I'm better than you. Uh, always say, okay, please go on. Um, and when they do want to speak, then uh, always talk in a low voice. It is also important that one does not wear too many new clothes if they are very arrogant because then they will try and show off and then try and, and tell others that they are better than them. It is also important that uh, one uh, sits on the floor, especially in the prayers, unless you're ill, but in the prayers and when doing tasbih or remembering God, you should sit on the floor and, and read. And also there are some traditions that indicate that if you have arrogance, then sit on the floor and eat. That also takes away your arrogance. Humility is something uh, extremely important. There were... Um, some slaves in the time of the Holy Prophet and that belonged to some uh, disbelievers and they said to the Holy Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, we wish that we had a house. Uh, so he said, uh, what would you do if you had a house? They said, O Messenger of Allah, we would invite you for food. Uh, so he said, what is stopping you from inviting me? They said, well, we sit on the street and we are uh, you know, eating uh, simple food. So he said, Uh, I don't mind coming on the street eating with you your simple food, dry food. And the food which has, you know, the bread is dry and uh, unedible. So they all stood up and they said, please come and sit with us and eat with us. So he sat down and he started eating with them. While he was eating with them, uh, there was a lady passing by who was a believer. And she said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, you eat like slaves. Ta'kulukal abid. 
And the Holy Prophet ﷺ replied to her, Who would be a great and greater servant of Allah uh, than myself? So service and humility is something that makes you closer to the Almighty God. The people who have arrogance usually lose everything. Fir'aun became Fir'aun because of pride and the arrogance that he had. Likewise, there are many other uh, kings and rulers who have extreme arrogance. People with authority usually have arrogance. And once you have sometimes even an authority, which is something, authority over things which are worthless, even then you start feeling uh, arrogant that I have control and uh, uh, authority over something. So we need to do more of our training. We need to control ourselves, our, uh, our habits to have good ethics. One of the traditions says that one must pray a lot and make du'as, meaning supplicate to God to control one's uh, arrogance. Because people who have arrogance never ask anyone for anything. So if you keep asking God for new things and keep praying to Him all the time with supplications, then you would rid yourself of the arrogance that you have. According to Salman radiallahu um, when someone asked him, why do you not wear new clothes? Why do you always wear old clothes? He said, uh, I will wear new clothes the day I am freed, meaning the day I die, I'll wear shroud. They said, why? He said, because this protects me from arrogance. When I see myself wearing new clothes and I see myself as powerful and as handsome, then I feel that I am better than others and I do not wish to feel that I am better than anyone. Uh, because I know there are always better people than myself. The only being that is allowed to have uh, pride is Allah, because there is no one better than him, there is no one greater than him. And hence one of his names is Al-Mutakabbir in the Holy Quran, the one who is who has pride, the proud God, because Kibriyai or um, majesty is only for him. So no one should feel that I am a majestic person, I am... I am um, worth all the praise. You should try and control listening to your own praise. And humility brings in respect. Uh, one of the other ways that uh, brings you, makes you humble uh, is doing long prostrations. It has many sins forgiven and it also makes you humble because and the Holy Quran says the ones uh, who do not bow down to me will enter the hellfire. So bowing down to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do long prostrations and to do ruku and sujood, uh, it makes you very humble. And humility is the key. Um, even animals with their masters are always humble. Even if you look at a dog, if the master ever beats it or um, uh, hits it, uh, it and tells the dog to sit in a corner, as soon as the master calls the, the dog, the dog does not say, hang on, a minute ago you were hitting me. Uh, why are you calling me now? They quickly run to the master. So they're very humble with their master. Likewise, we should be humble with our Lord. We should not be arrogant and screaming at God, you haven't given me this, no complaints, nothing. You should always be humble and that will make you closer to God and will give you a respect in the eyes of God without you showing off to them, without you telling them. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes sure that he raises uh, the status of a person in the eyes of his servants who are humble. The Almighty sent all of his messengers to be humble and the Imams were humble. There were no one greater than the Holy Prophet and the Aima Ahl al-Bayt al But we don't see any arrogance from the Imams. Imam Ali al when the Holy Prophet uh, told him to um, uh, present religion to the people, he sat down on the floor and spoke to them. <clears throat> when the war, ca uh, war captives, you know, the people who were disbelievers were, uh, when they saw Imam Ali Islam's conduct, they said, Ya Ali, why are you sitting on the floor so um, humbly? Is this your personal conduct or is this your religious conduct? He said, my religion has taught me to be like this. They all said, if this is Islam, then we all want to convert. <clears throat> it is not your arrogance that will attract the people to Islam. It will be your humility and your good conduct that will bring the people closer to the Islam and Muslims. 
So we have to make sure that we are humble and we are not uh, arrogant. Again, many times people think that we have to be humble with people who are better than us or older than us. Uh, I would suggest otherwise. Uh, you should always be humble with everyone, even your own children, even um, children that are not yours and they are younger than you, but you still have to show them respect and smile at them and, um, and show humility to them. Try and do salam to them first. The Holy Prophet says, uh, precedence in salam, meaning in greeting, whoever greets first, they have 69 out of the 70 um, uh, rewards. And one reward is for the one who uh, answers the greeting. So greeting the other person first because it takes away humility, because many times you feel, well, I'm better than the others and they should come and greet me. And this attitude is disliked and therefore, therefore and the Holy Prophet says, no, try and greet the others first. Do not expect them to greet you, but you move forward and there'll be more reward for you. Finally, I would like to say a tradition. Um, there is a, a tradition from the Holy Prophet وسلم, where he says that, um, um, لا يشم رائحة الجنة من كان في قلبه حردل وحبة من التكبر. He who has um, a grain size uh, arrogance in his heart will not even uh, smell the perfume of the paradise. We have to make sure that we are uh, humble and we respect others in the best way possible. Humility is a guarantee that you will find the right path, you will stay on the right path, and you will guide others to the right path. The people who are arrogant uh, will never be able to guide others because they themselves are, are misguided in that one aspect. <clears throat> Even if you are on the right path and if you have arrogance, then sometimes you will drift away. So make sure that you have humility in life. And children should make a habit from early on in their life to be humble to elders, to their uh, siblings and uh, uh, their friends at school. And as they grow older, they will uh, make it a part of their life to be humble with everyone. Many times with our colleagues and our uh, classmates, we are not humble. It is important that even with them, we remain humble. We pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us humility and success in this world and the hereafter. Thank you. Fiyamanillah.